hello friends welcome to nigra techies this is our angular 14 tutorial so part of this video i am going to explain json server rest api in angular so actually i am splitting this video into two parts the first step is i am going to initiate my json server rest api and the second step is using this json server rest api data i am going to load the data table first let me go to my application here i am going to create one new component for loading this data table Okay, it will take some time. Now we can start our JSON server configuration. For initiating the JSON server, first we have to install this JSON server in your machine. For that, we have the npm command. So let me copy this one. Here already our component is created. Anyway, we first we have to complete our JSON server setup because it's not going to take much time. So if you noted in the command, we have mentioned this G. So it will installing in the global manner, not for the single application. So it is installing in your machine in the global manner. Now let me go to our app routing model. Here I am going to map our component. So our component name is data table component and the path I am going to provide as the user. So let me create the link also. So in this app component, already I'm having the true link. I'm going to include one more link. So this is for user. Okay, we have done. So let me check in the browser. So you can see one more new link is added. Okay, currently we don't have any data so let me go to the component so instead of the speed tag I am going to provide h2 so the name is JSON server data table okay great so once we installed our JSON server, we have to create a db.json file. Now let me go to the application. So inside the source, I'm going to create the file db.json. Okay. So initially it don't have any values. Okay. Then we have to provide the values. So I'm planning to load the user information so already I'm having some data in the handy manner. So let me include it. Okay, see so you now we have included. So let me save it. And the next step is we have to run this JSON server API. For that we supposed to use this command JSON server watch db.json. Okay, it's saying like whoops the db.json does not seems to exist. So creating the new db.json with some default extra data. So, okay, let me check. So actually we have created inside our source folder. We supposed to create in the outside of the source folder. So let me copy all the contents. Okay. I'm going to replace it here. Okay, it's reloaded see the url so it's running in the port of 300 so let me copy this url see now it's returning all the records so basically it will work in our what's called our postman also so if you want include one more method then you have to copy this one so instead of the user I'm going to provide customer with a single data okay if there is any syntax error also it will throw an error okay fine the issue got fixed 
now you see we have the two URLs one is for user and another one is the customer so how many objects you are defining based on that it will generate the URL so for this example I'm going to use this users only so let me remove these customers okay now we are good to go now let me go to our application for accessing this service I am going to create one service here ng generate service I'm going to create our service in the folder of service and rest API so the rest API is nothing but our service name okay look like our service got generated so here the spec file is not required so let me remove it and if you are using this uh, HTTP client service you have to include our HTTP client model in our app dot model so let me import it so basically this one is belongs to angular slash common dot http and the model name is http client model okay we have done let me go to the service so on the service we have to inject our http client now let me define my method get all users so return this dot http the method is get method only here I supposed to provide the API URL so this is my API URL let me include here okay we have done now let me go to our component side so in this our data table component so in the design point of view currently we don't have any data okay for loading this data table I am going to use the material UV data table so let me search here we have the table so we can take the basic one let me copy this complete table section and this CS side, CS side we have one small change And the final one is ts file so if you noted in the ts file they have included some default data so anyway let me copy everything okay data we have added and the second thing is we have to define our display columns and our data source So we can check our output. Can't bind the data source. It's not on the unknown property. Yeah. Actually, if you are using this material with data table, we have to include some models in our app dot model. So the name is mat table. mat table model it's actually not coming then we have to import manually so let me copy this one so instead of this card I'm going to use table and model name is mat table model 
so now we are good to go and i have to include in this import section okay hopefully our error got resolved uh, but the design is not looks good so in the table side i am going to provide the stylus so the design basically you have to manage in your own way that's fine okay see now uh, currently we are able to see our hard coded data but actually we need to load our dynamic data from our json server for fetching this data i am going to create one function first get to all users and here i am going to use our services so let me inject the service first private service and our service name is rstap so this dot service and our method name is get all users so let me subscribe it here i'm going to write one callback function okay we have completed our callback function now let me create one variable user data and data type is any basically we are going to use the array only so actually we need to create one interface and we need to convert everything so avoiding that i am just declared using the data type of any so i am going to get our response into our user data okay we have completed so let me format it first i want to check we are able to get all the values so i am going to include this user data into console and also i am going to call this get all users in our on load function so let me cross check see in the console i am able to get this array so in the array i am able to see all the user information a uh, code name salary and also the role that actually we have added in our db.json so in case if i am trying to add one more record i'm going to copy the one of the object so instead of this 210 i'm going to provide 211 and instead of this williams i'm going to provide williamson okay now let me refresh our ui see now we are getting this 11 records so the final one is williamson okay now let me try to bind these values into our table first let me go to our ts.json file so in the display columns first i am going to provide code and the second one is name and the third one is salary final one is role okay let me go to the html side so if you noted in the html table so in the data source side uh, currently we have included this data source variable so instead of that i am going to use my user data okay so after that we have to define our columns the mat column definition is first one is code and the header name so you can provide your own name and the binding data so i'm going to provide the code that's it and the second one is name and the third one is actually salary salary and this binding variable also salary and the header name okay the final one is role so we have defined the small role only so let me use it okay we have completed so let me refresh it see now 
our user data are loaded in our table and here after we can apply the pagination sharding and search options so already i created the separate video on that so i'm not going to duplicate everything here so i'll share the link in the description you can watch it i hope you got some better idea about this json server as jpa still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box so in the future definitely i'm going to create one thread operations using this json server as jpa please stay tuned and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching